back to my channel, long time no see. Today's video is going to be on how to make a personalized Starbucks cup. I am obsessed with these cups even though I do not drink coffee whatsoever. As you see in the promo, I was literally drinking water. But these are a wonderful gift that you can make for anyone. This is a gift for yourself that you can make. This is a great cup that you can even sell. I have seen these on Etsy all over the place and you can make different designs. This design also was inspired by a blogger that I follow. Her name is Kayla Makes, I'm pretty sure, or Kayla Made. I will link her Instagram down below and I will post some pictures all over the screen. She makes a ton of different ones and she also has a lot of freebies which are downloadable on her blog website. So with that being said, let's get into this tutorial and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to quickly show you guys Kayla makes her website. She has all of these SVGs that you can easily download and they are all for free, which is great. She has so many SVGs that you can pick from. So the one that we want to do, at least I want to do, is the Boss Babe one. So just for a reference, the one that I have here, I actually made this one before, so I'm just getting rid of those quick. We are going to make a circle. Now I measured this and I measured the Starbucks logo. So you just want to zoom in a little bit more and adjust the sizing. You have to unlock the circle in order to make it fit perfectly because it's not like a perfect circle. So that is definitely the, the measurements right there for the circle. So for future reference, if you want to write that down um, and then I'm going to zoom out and move it. Yeah, I'm going to move it and then duplicate it. So now, just to change to a different color, so this is going to be the layer where we're putting the words on. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna to try to make it the same size. Again, I'm using this as a reference, so it's a little bit hard. Tried to get it as closely possible as I could. And once I was happy with the size, I aligned it. So I keep doing this a lot, just to double check. So I centered it horizontally and I centered it vertically as well. And then we're gonna take another layer, so I'll make it a darker orange. And this is that tiny, small layer that's around the inner circle. So again, I'm just using this as a reference and making the adjustments to the best of my abilities. So I'm centering it again, both horizontally and vertically. And now what we are going to do is we're gonna hide the first circle, highlight both of these, center again just to double check, and then we are going to click the slice button. Remove just one circle that was in the middle. You can hide the third layer, the darker orange layer, and we'll get back to that one in a second. Unhide the small yellow circle, and then again, we are going to highlight them and center them both horizontally and vertically. And then once it's all set, we are going to slice that and remove both of the little circles. We can go back to the darker orange circle. Again, I am centering it like crazy and we are going to adjust the size. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. So there's just that small little gap that's in between those two centers. Once I have it to the way I like it, I'm going to group it. And then I was trying to change the color, so I'm just gonna change it all to black. You could also change it to the color vinyl that you were doing. I just felt like changing it to black because I actually didn't know which color vinyl I was going to use. And now we can get to the fun part, which is the text. So I had to download this font. It was called Newcastle and it was $9. So if you are looking into making these Starbucks cups for, you know, commercial use, um, I would look into this font specifically because I don't know if it's for commercial use. So I'm only going to use it for personal use. I'm going to space it out and adjust the sizing to my liking. And then what we're going to do is once I like the sizing, we are going to curve the text. So curving text in Cricut Design Space is super easy, especially when you haven't ungrouped anything yet. So you can click the curve button right there and to the right, it'll curve it down. And if you move it to the left, it'll curve it up. So just keep adjusting to how you like it. I was being really picky and I didn't know what size I wanted it. Um, I liked it a little bit on the smaller side. And then I went ahead and duplicated the boss because it is the same size that I want, except it just needs to be flipped. If you see where the curve is, you just add a minus button to that and that will automatically switch it to the other way so it is exactly the same as the top. You kind of have to eyeball the middle of the circle. I kind of just visually did it and it, and it worked. 
and then we can add the stars. So you're just going to go to the left hand side and click the star button, make them super small, and then I'm going to duplicate it once I have the size ready. And then after that, I knew that I really liked that spot and I wanted them to align also. You can select both of them and then you can click the align bottom so that way they're both eye level and they're the same. And then I actually went ahead and grouped it. You're gonna have to ungroup it afterwards, but I wanted to just group it just to be safe. So now you can slice everything. You can't slice everything all at once, which I do explain in my slice tool video, which I will insert a card right here. You have to hide each and every item that you want to slice and you have to select one at a time. And before that, you have to weld the design. So weld the circle design, select each one by one. So click the boss and then slice and click babe and then click slice and then remove them, etc, etc. So that way the Cricut will know how to cut it. You simply can't not slice because if you don't, it, the Cricut won't recognize the letters. And then when we're ready, we can click make it and adjust it to our mat. And we don't have to use the mirror setting because this is vinyl. I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl in the color like an aqua teal. We can place our vinyl on our mat, click the vinyl plus button just so it cuts a little bit deeper than normally and let the Cricut go to work. So of course, when we're done, we're going to click the arrow button and we are going to remove our Oracle 651 vinyl from the mat. We have to take our Starbucks cup, our vinyl, and our weeding tool and start weeding. Weeding this was a little bit difficult with the letter parts. You have to make sure that the insides, like the O's and you know the inside of the B's, are able to stay. But once you have them on the transfer tape, it'll be smooth sailing. I cut the excess vinyl off and then I actually forgot to remove the other layer so the thinner circle was able to be seen. And now we take our transfer tape and we will place it on the vinyl and we will use our scraper tool to scrape it heavily. I cut out a lot of my scraping in this, but and I sped it up obviously, but I scraped it for about like a minute to two minutes straight because I really wanted the transfer tape to adhere to the vinyl. So once you're done, flip it over and remove the backing and just slowly do this and make sure that all of the pieces are on there. It helps when you remove it from the back and you press down as you go because it'll help everything stick to the transfer tape. So when we're done, we're going to remove our lid, remove our straw and take our cup. I actually used an excess piece of transfer tape to stick the Starbucks cup to the table. In this part, you have to be extremely careful and just take your time. When you are adhering vinyl, especially to a, like a circle, the first time I did this, I had to redo it about three times. You wanna press down the middle first and then press down all the sides. Because if you do the left side first and then do the right side first, it won't evenly adhere to the cup. So then we're going to scrape, scrape, scrape again, and then slowly remove the transfer tape. And voila, your Starbucks cup is ready to be filled and used. Of course, before I shot this video, I did clean the cup with warm water and soap. And as for care instructions, this should only be hand washed. It should not be placed in the dishwasher because the vinyl could come off. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching this video and I hope you loved it just as much as I did. All of my tutorials here are, I hope, at least easy for you guys. I try to make a lot of easy, simple tutorials that you can follow, that you can create. If you have any recommendation, at least one of you will have a comment on what video I should do next. So please don't be shy and put down your feedback in the comments below what videos you wanna see if you liked this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also click my subscribe button. I am so passionate and I really want to grow more subscribers and teach just more of y'all how to make Cricut things and Cricut DIYs. So don't forget to click that subscribe button along with the bell button so you get notified when I post. Thank you as always. Again, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that watches my video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.